In this video, I'm overclocking the AMD Ryzen 9 7900X 3D CPU all the way up to 5789MHz using the Gigabyte B650i Aorus Ultra motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. If you want to overclock this kind of a system, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the advanced mode view. Then enter the advanced CPU settings submenu. Enter the precision boost overdrive submenu. Here is where we will do most of the performance tuning as PBO provides us with the tools to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boosting algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters PPT, TDC and EDC according to the Motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard we find that the following values have changed. For previous Ryzen CPUs, increasing the platform boost parameters substantially impacted performance, especially for the higher core count CPUs. For Ryzen 7000 X series CPUs, however, AMD's default platform parameters were relatively unconstraining. For the 7900X 3D, it's clear that the platform boost limiters are not the constraining factor. During a Prime 95 non-AVX workload, we see that the maximum values for PPT, TDC and EDC are 115 watt, 96 amps and 98 amps respectively. The main limiting factor for the 7900X3D is the maximum allowed voltage for the Vcache CCD, which is around 1 volt under a high load. Set CPU boost clock override to enabled positive. Set max CPU boost clock override to 150. This increases the CPU's frequency ceiling by 150 MHz over the programmed max 1T limit. On this Ryzen 9 7900X 3D, that's 5650 MHz. Increasing this by 150 MHz results in a ceiling of 5800 MHz. Note that the 3D Vcache CCD has a lower if max of 5150 MHz and that the CPU boost clock override does not affect this CCD. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu and set Curve Optimizer to per core. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine tune the VF curve for each core in a negative or positive direction. Each step represents around 5 millivolt. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Note that the Curve Optimizer settings are highly CPU specific so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than copying mine. For every core, set Curve Optimizer sign to negative. For cores 0 and 6, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 5. For cores 1 and 3, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 15. For cores 2, 4 and 5, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 20. For cores 7 and 11, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 25. For core 8, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 10. For Core 9, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 45. For Core 10, set Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 35. Leave the Curve Optimizer submenu. Leave the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Leave the Advanced CPU Settings submenu. Set Extreme Memory Profile, XMP Expo, to Expo 1. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5, 6400 and associated memory timings and voltage. Set System Memory Multiplier to 60. While our memory kit is rated at DDR5 6400, unfortunately our CPU can't run that frequency. By enabling Expo, we still benefit from the improved memory timings. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark results are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of 8.97% in Geekbench 6 Multi. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5789 MHz. When running Prime 95, small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU effective clock is 4670 MHz with 0.991 volts. The average CPU temperature is 77.2 degrees Celsius, 
the ambient and water temperature is 25.8 and 31.1 degrees Celsius, and the average CPU package power is 130.4 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for the support and see you next time.